Now Randall who makes a big mistake on that initiation, gets a wheel up on the curb, he straight, he's had to reinitiate, and you can see the car has gripped it up even more to try and keep the pace with Benedictus Cherba, but it's not working out for Oliver Randall who right now, Cherba on a flying lead line once again as he transitions into that second hairpin, does the same trick again, goes wide, gets himself a little too wide that time, opens the door, Randall on the grass, dropping wheels, starts to make more mistakes as he goes over that little jump, has to handbrake initiate, they come down onto the wall, Randall goes for the side, of that E92 BMW, but Randalou looks like he's on the back foot. Now let's see what Churba does in the chase position. Very interesting battle here. So it looks like he's going to ever so slightly hold back, maybe. He goes for a nice wild initiation, and once again, Oliver Randalou's car grips up. It's a big off for Churba, very big off for Churba. Oh, wow, look at this, a big accident for Benedictus Cherba. That's a lot of damage, Dave. Here we go, back at it again, and no cones knocked over this time as Hampa leads in Linval. Linval coming in very aggressive, maybe too aggressive, gets away with it on the back bumper. Linval, unbelievable proximity, ah. makes a massive error. Massive error, Linval's in trouble here, but he keeps it on the track, but that's a big error. Hampa not making the same error as Linval, now no man's land on the inside of the track, cutting the corner, made a huge error. He's lost in the smoke as well, he's got to get back into this battle. Certainly yes, David. Look at this. So Henry Hamper goes super wide. He opens the door for Felix Limbell to get back up into the business. Limbell just riding that curb, trying to hold on to anything left in this battle as Felix Limbell looks at the side of that big Mercedes Benz as he transitions onto the wall. Henry Hamper wheels over contact as Limbell spins out and the drama keeps coming. Know that he can't go, could it just as tight? I know he's trying to get as much pace away as he can. He gets through cleanly this time as Pishkonski. Look at Correa though, right with him. And Pishkonski now, oh, oh right on the back up for his Correa as he fires in. And Correa looks confident, but it has to back away a little bit, a little closer than he wanted to be. But now he's starting to reel in the Polish driver as they come down the hill. Look at Correa, he's right there, closest we've seen anybody through this section. As Correa holds on to Pishkonski as they come through, and Correa's right there. And can he time this transition perfectly? A little early, but he makes it work. Is he going to over rotate? He does over rotate, goes oh. too close, but just about gets away with it. And we have to watch that lead run again, but it looks like Correa may have made a little bit of it, an error there, but let's have a look back at it in the replay. Correa now jumps in, Pishkonski looking like he's on rails now, using his experience, using that power to get across the line. He certainly did, Dave, and I think that might be a massive mistake, knowing how fast Koda is down the back of the circuit. Incredible lead line, but here comes Zalewski, looking for the side of that green BMW 1 Series. Zalewski is all over Koda as he goes for the transition back. Zalewski's on the back bumper, they flip into the second airbin, and Zalewski is right with him, he's up onto the side. He's in his business, almost takes the front off that GT6, they come over the hill. Zalewski coming with intent this weekend as he goes for the transition up onto the wall. Nodu Kodua leads him into the final turn as Zalewski says, I'm right here, buddy. Out of this world. What a way to kick off our top eight. Dean versus Shannon. Here we go. Here we go. And look at Shanahan. No messing around. Nose at the back end of that S15 is exactly where it needs to be. Shanahan in the smoke. He's closer than anyone else has been down this long corner. Look at Shanahan. He's glued to the side of the rear of this S15. The ice ball team of James Dean. They come through this first half. No, oh, Shanahan jumps the car. Across the curb makes a dangerous transition. Goes for the front wheel. Shanahan tags the front wheel. They make contact. Shanahan stalls up the car. Goes again. James Dean keeps himself in it. As Shanahan goes closer again, the bumper gets destroyed. Shanahan goes for the opposite door. They go for the outside line and across the finish line they go. Here we go. Giga, Diego Correa, big initiation. Zalewski goes for it. Tags the front wheel on initiation as Diego Correa now shallows up, flicks himself back into it again. But Zalewski's with him the whole way around that top corner as now Diego Correa slows the car down for the hairpin. They get through it. Zalewski looks for the transition, nails it, jumps on the side of that BMW and he's glued. Correa's defeated a tyre and goes off circuit as Zalewski goes for the overtake. Eight battle, the final top eight battle between Jainsek and Shanahan. Here we go, through the gears up to 80 miles an hour and firing it down the hill. Wow, look at Shanahan, he's closer than anyone's been to the back end of Peter Vincex S15. Shanahan has the pace to keep up with him. Oh, Shanahan falls off circuit. Shanahan falls off circuit. Here we go, 
Joe Shanahan through the chicane down, goes for a big early initiation. Look at this from Zalewski, he's made a hash of it. Zalewski goes too angry, makes contact with Shanahan. Shanahan gets himself back into it. That was a big mistake from Zalewski. Now Zalewski hunts down Shanahan. Once again, he's up onto the door. He's into the back bumper on the back wheel of Shanahan's GT86 as they transition back. Shanahan keeps his cool, he knows there was big impact. This is the one for Shanahan as he transitions through. Zalewski keeps it clean. Zalewski's struggling. Zalewski's in trouble. He goes behind. He spins. Shanahan takes it to the wall. Shanahan is going to come across the line with his arm out the window. He knows he has it in the bag. Gainsek's got to get aggressive from the off with Kavia. It's going to go either way. And Kavia fires in on big angle. Gainsek right with him. Yeah, look at this, Feinstein knows he needs to stay with Kavir, and he can. He's always oh, big, shallow though, he's shallow, he makes a mistake. Does Feinstein, Feinstein shallow once again, Kavir keeps a big angle down the back end of the circuit. Now Kavir starts to dial it in, starts to find that front clip, and look at this, Vincek's right there with him though, as they come through the second hairpin. Look at this from Vincek, he's onto the door of Kavir, as Kavir transitions back, starts to apply the pressure, starts to apply the power, but Vincek is right there, he's onto the side of the car, as Kavir goes for the wall, Vincek finds himself planted onto the door and across the line. Oh, Kavir's there, Kavir is hot and hungry, look at this as Kavir goes wide, now starts to shallow up a little bit, oh, Vincek makes another big error, drops the wheel off the circuit, Kavir holds it on angle, he says, that's not how you do it, buddy, they come down into the first hairpin. Vincek throws it, Kavir shuts it down! I cannot believe this, I cannot believe this championship. First corner at that speed, and now we're about to find out who's going to take top step on the podium. Shanahan fires in on big angle. Fjernsek right with him. Yeah, Fjernsek's right there onto the side. He goes. He looks for the back bumper. He starts to work himself into the group. Oh, and a wobble from Fjernsek. And Shanahan now dials on the angle even more. Fjernsek dials on the angle as they come down. Another wobble from Fjernsek in that chase position. Shanahan fires through that front clipping point as Vincek balances that S15 on the foot brake. In they go to the second hairpin. They come through. Vincek right on the back bumper, late transition, Vincek gets himself up, he makes a massive error, now dials on the angle as Vincek's desperately trying to catch up with Shanahan, Shanahan hammers the throw through the floor, could have Shanahan taken it? Someone is taking top step on the podium, but who is it going to be? Will it be Vincek, will it be Shanahan? It's Connor Shanahan, Connor Shanahan wins! Round two of the Driftmasters European Championship. He's done it. He's beaten James Dean. He's beaten Adam Zalewski. He's beaten Peter Fjainsek. And he's ready to beat everyone for the rest of the year. Fjainsek will take home the most amount of points. He will still stay leader of the championship. But Shannon is coming for blood here.